Hey folks, Ryan Thompson of Rottler Manufacturing and I'm back today uh, with a big question. Surface finish specifically on cylinder heads. Uh, what is surface finish? How do we measure it? And how do we make it as smooth as we want or as rough as we want? Um, well, the best way that I could come up with to do that is to go ahead and do an experiment. So uh, I've got a small block Chevy aluminum cylinder head here. Beautiful piece. Uh, came from my good friend, the mayor of Boone's Creek, Mr. Chris Straub. And uh, really that's the second experiment is the question here to start this out is, uh, is Mr. Billy Fisher doing a good job and does he deserve a raise? So what I've got is I've got two of these ones loaded in the machine. We're going to take a sample here on this one just to see uh, what we've got on, a, on an out of the box head. And then we're going to hop in on the machine and I think for our experiment today what I'd like to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to run at 1000 RPM and I'm going to start at a 25 thousandths inch per revolution feed rate. Now I'm using a single insert. It's our 6303M PCD insert which is our preferred insert for uh, super finishing on aluminum cylinder heads and and what I want to do is I'm gonna drop the feed rate leaving everything else the same by five thousandths each time we do a pass on this cylinder head and we'll record that I've got my Mitotoyo SJ210 uh, profilometer here and on my laptop here I've got the Trace Boss Plus uh, surface measurement software and this is gonna let me take traces that we'll then be able to print out, put on screen. So stay tuned here and let's take a look and dive into this and see exactly A, how smooth we can get this and what the effect is. Our main effect when chasing surface finish in a mill is that feed rate. So let's put some numbers and put some data to behind what we do every day. So to get this started, I just wanna take a trace. Now the way this, uh, this device works, this profilometer is it's got a, a small cantilever diamond tip and when we're measuring surface finish or any uh, surface, we, we always want to be going perpendicular to what's called the lay pattern. Uh, the lay pattern is kind of the, the, the majority pattern that's in your surface. On a, on a fly cutter, we're always getting a, uh, a bit of an arc and we have a step over that happens from our feed rate. So we want this to drag as best we can. On a, on a head, it can be hard to find the spot. We want to be as best you can to perpendicular. It's going to give you the roughest measurement and that's kind of giving you a measurement of you know what's the 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 absolute roughest kind of situation you have on your surface so if I put this down here make sure it's not gonna slide around on me too much and then I've got my software on the laptop now this is a super awesome software it's been around for a couple of years now and using it here on the laptop to, to track surface finish and work this while we we are doing some experimenting or figuring out recipes for cylinder heads it's a very very useful tool i also really like using this and recommend it that you know you can print this data form out and we usually use this with our hones where we put it directly on the machine uh, having this is something that you know can can allow you to kind of quality control your product at your shop that's going out the door whether you save this as a receipt for the work you've done or share that information with your customers. But right down here I can press measure. I'm plugged in through USB so we're going to take a trace here and just see how this is. I've got to reconnect my gauge. And there we go it's running the gauge now. So let's see how the boys at Straub, they always make wonderful pieces. This head's beautiful. Got some beautiful looking CNC ports in it. And let's just take a trace here to get a baseline and then we'll see if we can match and or beat them. Now this is gonna print out my RA over here on my screen. 8.853 micro inch. That's pretty dang smooth. Well done, Mr. Fisher. Mr. Straub, you might give Mr. Fisher a raise. Uh, this is, uh, so, so what this is doing here, we're measuring RA. There's, there's other values 
Uh, RA is a roughness average, and that's your most common one. So on, on gasket surfaces, typically you'll see an RA or a recommended range, and that's what we want to use to check. But well done, boys at Straub Technologies. Uh, 8.853 is definitely getting that smooth. Let's hop in. We'll go on over to the machine, and let's uh, take a look. All right, so we're here, we've got our headset in the machine. We're starting again at a 25 thousandths inch per revolution feed rate, 1000 RPM, and we're gonna take a 2000th depth of cut. We'll leave the RPM the same, and we'll leave the depth the same on each of our cuts here. We're gonna drop that feed rate by 5 thousandths each time, and uh, thanks to time lapse, we'll be able to whack through all of these passes. We'll take a trace at the end of each one, and when we get all done with this, we'll review the results. All right, so we just wrapped the experiment here, checking out that surface finish and taking our traces. We've got the results. So I'm gonna take a look here and we'll just uh, say I'm here, discuss it a little bit. But our first pass, which was done at uh, 25 thousandths, has a 56.8 micro inch RA. The second pass, which was done at 20 thousandths uh, inch per revolution, was a 51.7 micro inch RA pass three that'll be at 15 thousandths was at 35.8 pass four which was done at 10 thousandths 25.9 and finally pass five which we did that at a five thousandths uh, feed rate got us to the magic number got us back just a little bit below where the head was initially at 8.2 micro inch RA. So very good, very smooth. Now, as a bonus uh, off camera, I took one more pass. And what I did there was I went down to a 3,000 inch per revolution feed rate 
And not only that, but I indexed the cutter to a fresh edge and we also added a little bit of WD-40. These will all be things that'll be discussed in another experiment. I have another one I'd like to do that'll be coming up. But the final, uh, with that three thousandths and a fresh edge and a little bit of WD-40, got us a 7.7 .7 micro inch RA. So diminishing returns, it would seem, below five, but a slight improvement. Could it be the insert be having a fresh edge? Could it be the addition of a little bit of lubrication? We'll have to find out another time. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you had a little fun here, found this insightful. Let us know in the comments or shoot me an email, ryan at rottlermfg.com. Uh, let us know what you'd like to see. If this kind of stuff is interesting to you, if it's helpful, if you want to see anything specific, we'd love to hear from you. And as always, uh, happy machining. We'll catch you next time.